Hello everybody, today I decided to make a uh, fun little sort of informative video concerning all the different um, raptor figures that we've had over the years. This video is going to include every single type that we've had, but not necessarily every variant because as you know, a lot of these figures have been released multiple times with uh, fresh paint jobs. And as much as I wish I had every single one, I don't have every single different color, but I do have all the different models, so I'm just going to kind of go through each one today, uh, maybe tell you my favorites or least favorites, and uh, yeah, let's just get started. So we're going to try to go in order here, basically starting with you know the first film or the first toy line, which is from uh, the original Jurassic Park, of course. And this is one of the original Raptors. This one right here is from the first toy line and then obviously you can see there's several variants here that's the um chaos effect one that was released in a line much later here we have the lost world one which is distinguishable by the yellow eyeball as opposed to the green eye right here you can also tell that the uh, skin coloring is different this one is a little more muted with the colors and then this one over here you can see it just pops out a lot more it's really vibrant and then we also have this one right here, which was released in a line which came out in 1999, I believe. Now this design of Raptor is actually one of my favorites. I think just overall, the simplicity of the design, um, it works out really great and it also looks great to display as well. It does have one action attack, which occurs by squeezing the two legs inward together. And you see it kind of, you know, lashes out. I do believe these were the four different colors that were ever made available. Although I seem to remember seeing online that there was one more variant. I think it was to the Lost World figure here. There was one with the yellow eyes and I think there was another one with green eyes. But apart from that one, um, these are the four that were ever released. It's easily among the top three uh, of my favorite Velociraptor figures ever. They're just really great and uh, I think you'll like them as much as I do. Now before we move any further, I have to show this one right here. This was one of the other Raptor figures that was released during the original Kenner line. And this one is an electronic version. Um, and it's a little different in design as you can see. It's got different colors and the jaw is fixed in one position which is kind of a downside to this figure. Um, but I noticed too that the head looks a little disproportionate. Maybe it's just me, but at least from the front, you can kind of see that the head just looks a little too large for its body. Again, maybe that's just my imagination, but uh, it does seem that way. This one also has kind of a tr trouble standing up, right? As you can see, uh, I'm trying really hard to make it stand and it just wants to either lean forward or lean back. But um, yeah, out of the two Raptors I've already shown, uh, this one's my least favorite. I think the other ones are just far superior. Although I am happy to have this one in my collection, you know, I'm always happy when they release uh, new types of a figure, especially if they can improve upon them. But I don't really feel like this one is a huge improvement over uh, the previous one. You know, it's still a good figure. I'm not saying it's terrible, but definitely uh, not one of my favorites. Okay, so next up we got Lost World Raptors. Uh, we've already covered this one course and we're gonna focus on this one next this was a sort of like deluxe figure and it has the special action attack by pulling back on its leg you see it bites that's why it's called the snap jaw or that's its nickname uh, this figure I do like the design on it I like the tiger stripes it, it does look very similar to the uh, Raptors we see in the Jurassic or, or sorry the uh, Lost World film but um this one does have a few minor you know setbacks to it it doesn't stand really at all as you can tell um unless you know it's leaning backwards so it has a balancing issue um the arms are also a little too big so if you want like accurate figures at least in my opinion you know maybe i'm wrong maybe in real life the arms were that big and also it's just a little bit too tall at least, you know, in terms of the size of the Velociraptors in the films. Um, it just looks a little bit too big. I'm not really, you know, saying that's one of the cons, but it's just one thing to consider. And then we also have this one here. The original one was called the uh, Cyclops Raptor. 
And this is not the original one from the Lost World line. This is one that was re released later in a multi-pack, um, part of the Jurassic Park 3 line. But just so you know which one I'm talking about, I'll put a picture on the screen because I don't actually have the original one, but this is the exact same thing, you know, same model and everything except of the uh, variant color scheme right here. And the special thing with this one is you uh, move its tail back and forth and it does this little shaking motion with its head, which it's kind of cool. But, um, you know, this one, the jaw is similar to the electronic Velociraptor I showed where it's stuck in one position. So I don't really like that. I do prefer the articulation in the jaw. Out of these three Velociraptors, um, you know, that one's still definitely my favorite. And this one's probably my least favorite, I have to say. And, you know, I just prefer as I've said many times before, the figures that are more along the lines of this one where it's just sort of in a basic position so you can display it nicely or whatnot. But um, still not a terrible figure, just definitely, you know, not one of the worst, but not one of my favorites. All right, so next we're moving on to Jurassic Park 3. And there were three different variants of Raptors released. Uh, one of the first ones, was in this model. Now this isn't the original color. As you might know, the original one was like red and tan or whitish. Whereas this one is a repaint that was released a few years later, as well as this one. Uh, the green one here and this tannish one here are identical. But uh, of course they're just different paint jobs. The special thing about this one is it has this little lever here where you can pull it and it'll, you know, make a motion like it's scratching. And it also makes a sound. I don't believe these have batteries, but I'll try it. Okay, so the battery's out on both of them. There's actually two different sound effects. There's this one, and then there's one by pressing down on the spine of its tail. There's a little button there, and it'll emit sounds, you know, that change depending on which uh, one you activate. But, you know, I do like this figure. The stance on it's a little weird. As you can see, I have this one standing. But it is pretty much stuck in that one position. And of course you have the lack of articulation in the jaw area. So if that's something that bothers you, I wouldn't recommend this one. Go ahead and move on. There's also this one here that was released. As you can tell, the um, sculpt is slightly different. The legs are more straight where that one's more bent. The arms on this one are actually posable. Whereas this one, um, they are posable, but they're part you know, they're also attached to this action feature right there where this one's, you know, they stay in one position depending on where you position them. And this one has a different uh, electronic feature. By pressing down on its throat, it actually does open its mouth. And you might be able to hear the sound. Hopefully it shows up or hopefully you can hear it through the camera. But it has that um, particular sound and then it also has one featured right here which is a little different from that one where it's on the uh, tail this one's on the side of the torso here and by pressing it you activate that little growl sound which is kind of cool i think this one is definitely an improvement over this one just because um i sort of prefer the stance on it and the overall look is really cool i like the gray uh color scheme and I like the fact that the jaw does open, even if it doesn't really open all that much. <clears throat> it's still nice to have a slight articulation, but um, as you can kind of see, these things do also have trouble standing up. It seems to be a common occurrence with the raptor figures, at least a lot of them, they have a hard time standing. But yeah, and then we have this one here. Um, this is the last one that's released. This one, there were two different types. There was one that was released with the playset, which is a green color. And then there's this one, which was released with the Dr. Grant on the motorcycle sort of little mini playset type of thing. And this one, it lacks sound. It does have this little battle damage on the tail, as do most, if not all, the Jurassic Park 3 figures. And another nice thing about this one is by pushing on his neck, you get that little, you know, action thing going on. And the head on this one is actually very, very similar to um, the first Raptors I showed. And overall, this figure is very similar to those. Even, you know, this little action attack thing going on here. Although, you don't activate it by squeezing the uh, legs. And I almost forgot about this one here. This is one of the original Kenner figures. And this is, of course, the Utah Raptor. 
This thing is massive compared to the other raptors, and it's almost like the size of a small T-Rex. So it's definitely not um, to scale or accurate in any way, but I really do like the real feel texture. This is one of the only raptors. Actually, come to think of it, I think it's the only raptor that actually has the real feel skin. One of the cool things about this one is you can actually, uh, let's see here, there's a button. Okay, yeah, it's right here and you push it and it'll kick its legs forward. And if it has batteries, it actually makes sounds too, but none of my figures, at least, most of them don't have batteries in it, so I... Actually, I take that back. I had no idea that had batteries in it. <laughs> so yeah, you got to hear that bit, and that's kind of cool. I do uh, like this one. It just, you know, it's a little big, so if you're looking for, you know, accurate scale figures or something, you definitely might want to pass on this one. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna be moving right along to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, what about the Jurassic World figures? Uh, you know, made by Hasbro, and I'm just gonna say those figures were all terrible. <laughs> you know, I didn't collect any of them. Maybe I'll throw some pictures up on the screen so you can see them, but they're they're not even worth mentioning, not even worth showing off because with all the, you know, screw holes in the sides and just the overall terrible designs of the figures, I just didn't feel them worthy to even include on this list. So we're just going to be skipping over all those, pretending like they don't exist. And starting off strong, we have Battle Damage Blue here. A lot of people actually um, say that this is one of their favorites, if not the best blue model that's out there. There's actually three uh, different ones, and I'll kind of explain the differences in a bit. But uh, this is a Walmart exclusive. It has the battle damage right here on the side, which I don't really like. I wish it kind of didn't have that because I don't like the little doorknob looking thing right there. It'd kind of be a nicer, cleaner figure if it didn't have that. But uh, this one also has some pretty good articulation in the jaw, um, in the neck, even in the feet, the arms. And I just think this figure looks fantastic. This is one of the other figures made available in the Fallen Kingdom line. Um, there are currently four different types of this figure. There's a dark brown one, there's this green one here, um, there's this orangish tannish kind of looking one right here, and then there's also one that has the blue colorings. Of course, you know, Blue the Raptor has that color scheme. These are fantastic figures, and I'd highly recommend them. Probably one of the best Velociraptor figures ever, and I'm even saying that, you know, even better than some of the Kenner ones. And that's, you know, saying a lot because I love the Kenner figures. It has this action feature where it's supposed to look like it's leaping. It does that little thing. Um, so that's kind of cool. The only real downside to this one is the fact, you know, it doesn't have the articulation in the legs. And the feet are also sort of gigantic. And I guess that's, you know, to make it be able to stand. And then we also have these ones right here. There are currently three different types of these. <clears throat> We have this one, which you might think it's blue at first, but it's actually not. They do make a blue version. This one's just a dark gray raptor, and this one's got a little less articulation. As you can tell, it doesn't have articulation in the neck, but it does have articulation in the legs, whereas these ones don't. Um, but you can only really get it to stand in one position, which is this one right here. So if you want it to stand up, I wouldn't recommend moving its legs at all. And then we have this orange one right here. Like I said, there's also a um, blue one, and I think that's it. I think there's just these three. So there's a lot of different ones to choose from. It's pretty impressive the fact that Mattel, you know, just came out with their line, that, what, not even five months ago, and they already have so many different types and so many different excellent figures. You know, out of all the Jurassic Park lines, we have some of the best Raptors ever made right here. I know this video is getting long, so I'm going to quickly go over the uh, Indoraptors here because I did say I was going to include them. There are currently two different types. There is this super articulated one here, which is sort of the more common one. As you can tell, it's, as the name implies, super articulated. You have articulation in the neck, the jaw, multiple different points in the um, arms and wrists and you have the leg joints, knee joints, tail, all sorts of stuff. So you can get this one in a ton of crazy different poses. All right, so next we got the uh, Grab and Growl Indoraptor here. This one's very similar to the Thrash and Throw T-Rex, 
where it has the electronics and it also has all these different ways you can move it by manipulating the tail. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do all these things. You have, yeah, the grabbing right here. You have, <laughs> you have the grabbing, the sound effects, the jaw chomping, the head swiveling, all that stuff. And I almost forgot to include this one. I actually don't have this one. Surprisingly enough, I kept passing on it in the stores and now I'm looking for it and they're all sold out everywhere I go. So eventually I'll get it, but I didn't want you to, you know, think I forgot this one. This one's very similar to the Cyclops Raptor released with the uh, Jurassic World line. Or sorry, not Jurassic World, the Lost World line. It's kind of cool. I do like the colors, but um, it's just not one of my favorites. Well, that about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is different from the toy films, which I know a lot of you are subscribed to see, but those just take a lot of time and I want to, you know, make them well and not rush them. So in the meantime, I like doing these little sort of toy review videos because they're fun and I think some of you enjoy them and it's nice to keep things fresh, but don't worry, I still do have a lot of toy films planned. Um, I just released the you know, Jurassic Frontier prologue and it seems a lot of you guys are enjoying that one and I'm excited to make new episodes. So. Look forward to those in the future. But yeah, in the meantime, um, hope you guys are enjoying the videos and I will see you next time. Thanks.